gosh, I'm so scared to go into the hospital. The doctor called me and he said that Donnie is still in a coma. But I just don't get it. I mean, he had his brain surgery and everything went well. So it really doesn't make sense. I'm so, so scared. All the friends and family and the poor children were all so worried about Donnie. I just can't believe that this happened. I have to talk to the doctor and see what else we can do. Surely it's not normal that Donnie is still in a coma such a long time. Oh gosh, guys, I'm just so afraid. I really don't want to lose my husband. He was the best husband ever. And it's been weeks now that I didn't even talk to him. I just miss him so, so much and I hope he wakes up soon. But I don't know, I don't really have a good feeling about this. It's been going on forever. And all the doctors are saying that everything went fine. But I really just don't believe them. If everything was going so well, Donnie would be at home now. He would be playing with his children. But instead, he's still in the hospital in a coma. I need to get some answers right now. I'm not waiting any longer. I don't have patience anymore. Oh, it looks like the doctor is in the office and knock, knock. Good morning, little Leah. How are you doing today? Hi, doctor. I'm not doing too well, to be honest. After the surgery, it seems like my husband is just still in a coma and nobody can give me any answers. What's going on here? Well, I have good news for you, little Leah. It looks like Donnie's surgery has gone extremely well and he's back to himself. Uh, would you like to go up and see him? I still think he's resting right now, but you know what? I think he's going to be just fine in a couple of days. You think he's resting? You think he's sleeping for a whole week? He just doesn't make any sense. Something must be wrong. Maybe the surgery didn't go as well as you thought it did. Well, you know what, he's just been having a big long rest and uh, the brain scan seems to be uh, looking back pretty good, so I'm sure he'll be fine straight away. Hmm, I don't believe any of this, doctor. I feel like maybe we should get a second opinion. I mean, I do trust you, you're such a great doctor and you did so much for our family, but this just doesn't seem right to me. Donnie's a strong man and if the surgery went so well, he should be awake right now. I thought he would be home by now, playing with his kids and all of us having dinner. And instead, my husband is stuck in this hospital for weeks now and nobody's well, doing anything about it. it. He had brain surgery. It takes a long, long time to recover from brain surgery. The brain has to stop from swelling and uh, then he'll wake up. And I'm sure it'll be back to normal very, very soon. And he'll be back home playing with the kids as well. Oh gosh, I just don't know. Something is wrong. This Lisa. is so... Yes? Where you go? Come back down here. Oh, I keep messing up the floors. Oh my gosh. The doctor. Doctor, can you hear the weather? That's not a good sign. Something evil is gonna happen. I can hear the thunder. Don't be silly, oh, Lee. It's just a storm. It's gonna be fine in a couple of days, okay? Look. Here's little Donnie right now. He's still resting. All the machines are working quite well. The brain scan's coming back very, very well every day. And I'm sure he's going to be just fine very, very shortly. Uh, how soon, though? You just keep saying the same thing over and over, doctor. But I need some answers right now. Do you know what? At this stage, I just think we're just going to take Donnie home. Or maybe move him to another hospital. Because I'm really not happy with the service here. And he's been wearing same clothes for the past two weeks. Is nobody changing him? Yes, he gets changed every day. Look, Leah, over here you can see the brain scan, okay? Up on the wall there. That's little Donnie's head. And right there you can see that all the scans are coming back perfectly. His brain is working fine. Maybe he's just been a bit lazy. Maybe he just wants to stay in bed and doesn't want to go home. Okay, well, I suppose maybe I should just talk to him. Maybe he'll wake up. Donnie! Oh, oh what's going on? What's going on? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Donnie. What's happening? What's happening? Where am I? What are you oh. doing? Who are you? What? Donnie, okay, calm down. Look, Back up. Listen. Back up. Just sit down here. Just sit down there. Just calm down. You were asleep hey. for a long time, so you're a little bit disorientated. 
What's what happening? What's happening? What's all this equipment around? Are you guys doing experiments on me? What? No! Oh my gosh, Donnie, you won't believe what happened to you. We were on the helicopter ride and then we crashed. And unfortunately, you fell right onto the bridge and you hit your head. So you were in a coma for the past few weeks and then this doctor over here, he had to do brain surgery on you. And everything went well, he said, but then you were still in a coma. And you woke up just now. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. It's really you. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. Who are you? Are you a nurse? Are you a nurse? Is that a doctor and you're a nurse? Is that what's going on here? What? No, I'm Leah. I'm your wife? What Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Uh, doctor, what's going on? Why doesn't he know who I am? Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, he might have some memory loss because of the brain surgery. Just give him some time and try Jaguar's memory and hopefully he'll remember who you are. What? Memory loss? But I thought you said everything went well. And how can I get him to remember me when he's literally hiding from me? Doctor, you need to fix it. There must be something you can do. Maybe he needs another surgery or something. Leah, I think the best thing to do now we try to get him home, uh, meet the kids, show him the house where you live, and all these things will bring back all his memories, and hopefully he'll remember you soon enough. Meeting the kids? I mean, he doesn't even remember me. Can you even imagine him meeting all of our kids? He will have a heart attack. Oh gosh, this is not gonna go well, doctor. Okay, let me just try to talk to him. <clears throat> Danny? Stay away from me. Well, why are you so scared? What's happening? Okay, the doctor said that memory loss is normal after the brain surgery. So I will just need you to trust me, Donnie, okay? I'm little Leah and I'm your wife. We've been married. Okay, that's not going well. Doctor! Doc! Do you want to talk to me now? Look, I'm just a bit scared, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have a clue who you are. I don't know why I'm in this hospital. I don't even know if it's a hospital. Maybe you're just doing experiments and everybody turn everybody into zombies. Okay, come on. Let me just prove to you that this is a hospital, okay? I will show you everything. And then maybe you can start trusting me on that. And then, hopefully, Look at you this won't girl. believe... She looks like a zombie. No. Are you a zombie? Oh my gosh. Don't be talking about people like this. That's really rude. Okay, so Danny, look, this is where you were staying all this time while you were in a coma. Look, I got you the balloons, the flowers, I even got you more flowers here. Look, your favorite. Well, they're actually my favorite, but you like them too. And okay, this miss, is... let's just back up. Who are you? What are you doing here? Why do you keep talking to me? I am little Leah and I've been your wife for many, many years. And guess what? We all live in the palace and we have loads of children together. I just can't what believe you What are you talking you about? I don't remember any of this. You know, I don't have a wife. I don't have kids. This is so okay, strange. Okay, well, what's the last thing you remember? Uh, the last thing I remember, uh, I was hanging out with Donald the dog and we were doing a car race. What? But that was... That was about seven years ago. Um... So you're telling me you don't even remember meeting me or a first date or how we got remember, married I, I, or... I was driving my car and I had a car crash and then I had to go to the hospital and, and now I just woke up here. No, that's not right. A few weeks ago we had our anniversary and you wanted to surprise me so you got us a helicopter ride. But then, I don't know, you were flying the helicopter and something happened and we crashed. And we had to bring you to the hospital. Oh my gosh, I just... I'm sorry, just give me a second. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. He's awake, that's everything I wanted. And he seems healthy, but he doesn't know who I am. He doesn't remember me at all. Or our children, or our life together. How could this be happening? How are we going to come back from this? I'm not sure if he'll ever get his memory back. <laughs> this could be the end of everything, guys. This could be the end of our family and our marriage. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm about to meet little Donnie. He got signed off from the hospital. 
and we said we'll meet at the bridge and I will do what the doctor told me to do. I'm gonna show him around and hopefully that will bring back at least some memories. I couldn't stop crying all night last night. I'm just so heartbroken. I can't believe my own husband. I can't believe he doesn't remember me or us or our children. I never imagined this could be so bad. But there's hope. The doctor said about 10% of his patients go through memory loss, but they all get it back eventually. So if we try hard enough and if Donnie is willing to get his memory back, then I think that he will. It's just it's so weird that the last thing he remembers was seven years ago. And in the past seven years, just so much happened. I don't know how he'll remember everything, but at least I'm hoping he'll remember me and the kids and our life together. Okay, he was supposed to be here a few minutes ago, but maybe if he doesn't remember stuff, maybe he is lost. I have to go look for him. Um, let's see, could he be... <gasps> there he is, he is on the bridge. What is he doing there? He's just chilling? Or is he doing some fishing? Um, Donnie! Hello, how are you? Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, your, your name is uh, Lisa, is it? Uh, it's Leah. Um, I can't believe you don't remember me. Um, I'm just trying to... Uh, my heart is not to cry. This is really, really hard for me. But I can understand it's hard for you too. I can't even imagine waking up like that and thinking that it's seven years ago. I feel so bad for you, but the doctor said it's pretty normal, Donnie. So I'm gonna show you around and hopefully you'll get a better feel of what's happening here and maybe you'll remember some things. Is that cool with you? Yeah, well, I remember my palace, but it's all changed so much. I mean, there's different colors and the beach has so many new shops and new stores and this palace over here has changed as well. I mean, it's all so different. I don't know what's going on. and. I still don't remember you. You keep saying that you're my wife and we have kids together, but the last thing I remember, I was living in that palace with my mom and dad and I was hanging out with Donut and Little Lizard and uh, Tiny Turtle and, and Ropo. I mean, now it's all so changed. I mean, where's all my friends? Where's all the guys? <laughs> okay, okay, slow down. Yes, the palace has changed because we renovated it all. And because we got so many people living here, new shops start popping up. And now this is like the best kingdom ever, Donnie. There's loads of shops, there's a crash, there's loads of houses, there's even a hospital here. We're doing so well and people love living here. There's even an amazing Italian restaurant where me and you love to go on our date nights. Okay, but about your friends, I mean, for the past few years, we haven't been in touch with anyone. Everyone got married, had children, and actually, you didn't talk to Donna the dog for years. I'm so sorry, Donnie. But you know what? Don't get you upset about that because me and you, we have such a great life. And you always said that I'm your best friend. And we went on so many adventures and had so much fun together. And it's okay. The memory will come back to you and you will see exactly what I mean. Come on, let's just start with something a bit traumatic. But the doctor said I had to show you it, okay? So over here is where you landed from that helicopter, okay? I was really lucky and I landed in the water so I didn't really get much damage. But you, you landed over there, Donnie. That place was full of blood, but we obviously cleaned it up. That was weeks Sounds ago. so strange. I mean, I don't remember anything. I mean, I don't even remember this bridge being made out of gold and this is so weird. I don't remember that flower shop. I still don't remember you. I mean, it's just so strange. If I fell out of a helicopter, you think I'd remember that? I remember the car crash from years ago in, in the city, but this doesn't drag any memories at all. Well, actually, the doctor said it's pretty common not to remember the day of the accident. But because you don't remember past seven years, that's what's worrisome. But don't worry, we will get there. Come on, let me just show you around and maybe... 
He'll bring back memories. Like over here, for example, this is your favorite barber shop. You come here every three weeks and you get your hair cut here and you even get your eyebrows trimmed because they're so big and bushy. <laughs> do you not remember mm, that, that at all? Like a nice thing to do all the time, but I don't remember it. I mean, oh, the wizard. Yeah, remember you remember the wizard. the wizard. Okay, don't go into the wizard because, oh, Danny, come back, come back. He doesn't like you now. A few wizard. weeks ago, we made a silly prank on him and he turned us into babies. And we were babies for a few days. And while we had a lot of fun, then it kind of became not fun anymore because we had our own babies to take care of. <laughs> Come on, let's just move into the palace and maybe... Oh, there's when... my picture. I remember that picture up there. Yeah. Isn't that picture awesome? I mean, look at it. You used to be a frog, remember? Then you got kissed by little Kelly and you turned into a prince. Isn't that awesome? Do you remember uh, that? Yeah, I do. I was kind of thinking about little Kelly because... Last thing I remember, I was in love with her and we were kind of dating, so this is a bit strange. I mean, uh, is Kelly still my girlfriend or what's going on? What? Um, no, well, I don't think she is because I'm your wife, so that would be kind of wrong if little Kelly I was know, your but girlfriend. I don't remember you and I kind of miss little Kelly. Okay, okay, well, that's hurting my feelings quite a lot. Um, Maybe but... I should just text her, see how she's doing. What? No, don't text little kelly you're my husband you can't be texting other girls especially your ex-girlfriends don't be silly you're gonna remember me in a few moments now what look. is going on here what's this pink house doing over here and this tree house and oh there's all my cool cars but i don't remember half of this place uh, okay so this pink dollhouse you actually built it for a daughter baby kyla and same with that tree house and look, we have a pet dolphin. We even have a pizza stand and a donut and coffee stand here. You did this for me because oh, you said... It's chocolate and caramel. I remember the horses. Yeah. It's my horse and donut horse. <laughs> oh, they're such amazing horses. I'm glad you remember them. But do you not remember anything else, Donny? Mm, I remember the palace, even though it's changed quite a bit. I mean, I had my bedroom up there on the right-hand side and the balcony... Uh, mom and dad's was in the back, but no, your mom and dad so leave. Strange. Your mom and dad live in another palace now, and actually, um, they have our children there because I didn't want to traumatize you too much, and I didn't okay. want to traumatize them too much. Okay, what? this look, looks completely different. I mean, there used to be a stairs over here up to my bedroom. There was another stairs over on this side. Now there's a big, huge stairs in the middle. What's going on? Everything looks so strange. <laughs> Of course it does. Come on. Listen, we renovated everything years back. But look, this is your favorite room of the house. This is your man cave. You always chill out here and play video games and watch sports and things like that. And sometimes the kids join you and we have so much fun playing silly games and eating popcorn and having takeaway. We love this room. Does this bring you back any memories? Um, no, I don't remember this room at all. I mean, I just remember hanging out in my bedroom with all the dog. We didn't have a man cave. That all sounds so strange. This kitchen looks so huge, but, you know, maybe I should just call little Kelly and, and see if she can jog my memory because we used to hang out all the time as well. What? No, you, you cannot be calling little Kelly. Donnie, she's your ex-girlfriend. Stop it for a second. How will okay, that hang work? on, it's, it's ringing, it's ringing. What? No, no, no. Can I speak Put the phone Kelly, down. Please? Put what's the phone down. Wrong? No, that's you it. Broke I, broke, the phone. I broke the phone. Oh, Tony, you you're can't crazy. do that. <gasps> I'm not crazy. You're crazy. You want to call your ex girlfriend. I mean, maybe you were in love with her seven years ago, but now you're my husband and you're in love with me. How do you think I feel when this is happening? <laughs> You know I don't what? even know if you're telling the truth. Maybe you're just some crazy lady trying to steal all my money, trying to get my palace. You're probably just a nurse from the uh, hospital and you just learned everything about me and now you're trying to steal all my money. What? Okay, come on. Let me show you the bedroom. That must bring back some memories. Look, look, come here, Danny. Look, 
half of the bedroom is pink, half of the bedroom is blue. You wanted it this way because this is your side and this is my side. Come on, you gotta remember okay, okay, this. Okay. You know what? I think this is a bit strange because little Kelly loves the color pink as well. Maybe this is her side of the bedroom. Did you kill her? Did you kill little Kelly? What? You know what? I just need a minute. <laughs> I don't know if I can do hey, this. <laughs> lady, where's all the pictures of us? Where's all the photos? There's you no hate taking photographs. That's why we don't have any. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. My husband, he's still in love with his ex-girlfriend, Lil Kelly. What am I gonna do, guys? He doesn't remember me at all. And all he remembers is being with Lil Kelly. <laughs> Good morning. Well, I'm actually not too sure if it's good or not. I mean, Donnie still doesn't remember anything and he refused to sleep in our bedroom yesterday. He said he's just gonna sleep on the couch. I'm gonna be honest, I'm so, so scared. I don't know what's gonna happen with us. If Donnie doesn't get his memory back, we could never be together. We will have to get a divorce and break up. And the poor children, they just want to come home and see their daddy. But I can't let them do that. Not when he doesn't remember them. That would just traumatize them. I feel so bad for everybody. I just can't believe this is happening to us. That this is happening to our family. Right when everything was going well. But you know what? I gotta keep strong for my husband. I know that his memory is somewhere in there, locked up in the back of his brain. We just need to bring it back. I just have to wake Donnie up and maybe make him his favorite breakfast. Some eggs, sausages and some toast and maybe that will bring back a few memories. But where is he? Huh, he said he'll sleep on the couch. <gasps> Maybe he's in his man cave. Let's go have a look. Donnie, Donnie, are you in your man cave? Um, no, he's not here either. Oh my goodness, did he leave? Oh my gosh, did he run away? Did he go to little Kelly yesterday? Oh, that can't be right. Maybe he is in baby Kyla's or baby Kyle's bedroom, just looking through their things, trying to get the memory back. Let's see, <gasps> what's that? Those stairs weren't there yesterday. I've never seen this before. They lead up to a room? That is so weird. Oh my gosh, did, did Donnie build this last night when I was sleeping? <gasps> what is this place? What's this room? Hello, knock knock. Donnie? Uh, what, what are you doing up here? This is my bedroom. What's going on? Um, is this a secret bedroom or something? I've never seen um, this place before. Well, this is my old bedroom. I knew it was in the palace somewhere. So maybe years ago, uh, there was renovations and this all got blocked up. So I took it all out and it's back here now. And I kind of feel at home up here. I feel comfortable and I kind of like it up here. So I think I'm just going to stay up here for a while. What? No. Um. Well, I mean, of course you can stay up here, but... Your bedroom is our bedroom, and that's downstairs. I guess this could be your bedroom too if you feel comfortable, but if we're husband and wife, don't you think that we should be living together? If you just stay here, that means we're not even living together, Donnie. Well, you know what? It's kind of cool up here. It's got cool colors. It's got a nice blue bed. I got my jacuzzi and my computer, and I got my poster here with myself and my best friend, Donald the Dog, and... Maybe we should just spend some time apart for a little bit. Look, there's another cool post over here as well. Me and Donna. Okay, okay, I get it. This is your teenage boy room bedroom. And you remember this. I get it. And you have loads of pictures of you and your best friend Donut. But Donnie, I'm sorry to tell you, but you and Donut and even you and Kelly, you aren't friends anymore. You didn't talk to each other for years. Everybody has moved on. I mean, they probably don't even remember you. So please give me a chance to prove to you that we were such a great family. And our children, they really keep asking about you and they want to meet you. So please, will you come with me and maybe I'll show you their bedrooms? Maybe that will bring back some memories. 
Okay, okay, let's uh, have a look around and we can look at the bedrooms and maybe see some photos and I don't know, maybe I'll get my memory back, but right now I don't even remember anything about us. I don't remember any dates. I don't remember any fun times we had. I remember nothing and it's all just getting a bit strange for me right now. Oh, I know you must be so, so scared, but Donnie, I promise you, me and you were such a great couple. We were best friends. We always did everything together and we almost never fought, except actually for the crazy exes that always got in our way. But Donnie, me and you would always go on dates and we'd always go picnics with our families, with kids, the trips to the beach, the trips to the city. Do you actually not remember any of that? I mean, we had no, so much I don't fun every day. Anything. I just remember hanging out with all the little club and you weren't even there. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Well, it does make sense because you just don't remember what happened for the past seven years. Okay, come this way. This is baby Kai's bedroom. He's your son and he loves you so much. But you know what? Baby Kai, he is such a little messer. He always pranks people, he always messes around, he always gets in trouble at school, but he's just such a great boy and he cannot wait to see you, Donnie. He calls me all the time and asks when he can come home to see you. Now, do you remember anything at all? You playing with him, teaching him how to walk, how to talk, how to swim? Oh my gosh, remember the time you told him how to ride the bike and he fell and then he had the biggest bruise on his forehead for weeks and we would all laugh at him and you called him the unicorn. Do you not remember that? Mm, sounds like a fun story and he sounds like a cool kid, but... I mean, I don't remember any of it. It's so strange that I don't even remember my own kids. What's in here? This is the bathroom. bathroom. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, you're saying that he's such a cool little boy and his name is Kai and... I just okay. don't remember him. I mean, what about like, this? Wow, this bedroom's huge. This is our first daughter. Her name is baby Kyla. And she is just such a sweet little girl. And she is definitely daddy's girl. She always wants to hang out with you and play with you. And you are so good to her. Like, come this way. Remember you asked me about this big doll house? Well, you built it for baby Kyla as a surprise because she really wanted one and you just did it. In like two days, you built the whole doll house and she was so happy about it. And she got all her friends from school to come over and they had a huge party. Come on, you gotta remember this. Mm, oh, sorry about that. That was a mistake. Um, I'm afraid I don't remember it. I mean, I can remember the horses down there. I remember the palace a little bit. It's a bit of a different color. Everything else is so different and so strange. And uh, Oh, actually, hang on a second. I just got a text. Uh, it's from Donut. Actually, yeah, I was texting Donut last what? night and he said that he wants to hang out. So I'm probably oh. going to go hang out with Donut uh, pretty soon. Uh, I guess I'll just talk to you later. And oh, wait. There's another text. Uh, oh, awkward. Actually, this one's from little Kelly. Uh, I was texting her last night too. What is she saying? Show me. Uh, excuse me. Privacy. Thank you. Uh, she said that she wants to hang out because she hasn't seen me in such a long time and she misses me as well. So I guess I'm going to go hang out with Donald the dog and little Kelly and I'll be home later on, okay? But Donny, um, today we were supposed to spend time together like the doctor said. And I was supposed to show you around and we would have, have gone for a lovely romantic date that they planned for us to bring oh, back some sorry memories. Sorry to interrupt you there. Just getting a phone call from little Kelly. Hey Kelly, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I'll be over in about 20 minutes. Uh, no problem. Talk to you later. Bye. Um, Bye. What were you saying? Um, I was saying, um, okay, never mind. I know you want to hang out with your other friends because that's the only thing you remember, but can I come with you, please? I kind of miss mm, Kelly no, and Donna. Look, what? I just got to do this on my own and just figure out what's going on. And I was thinking maybe me and you should just spend some time apart, okay? Maybe I should just go and stay with Donald the dog and hang out there for a while and see if that can jog my memory and uh, maybe have some fun with him, you know, and, and meet little Kelly and meet little lizard and tiny turtle and... You just hang out here for a while, mind the kids, take care of the palace, and I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Bye. But Donny, if you leave now, you will never get your memory back because you have to stay here to get the memory back. If you go back to your past, that's all you're gonna remember. What about me? What about the kids? 
They're gonna be heartbroken. They already didn't see you for weeks. And now you wanna go and leave us for another few weeks? Donnie, please don't do it. If you leave yeah. now, it's gonna be the end of us. I have to go back to the beginning, okay? I have to get my memory back from after the car crash. I know Donald was there. I gotta find out what happened. That was before you were even there. And then maybe after that, I can start remembering everything and I remember you, but for now, Maybe it's best if we just break up and, and we just go our separate ways and maybe in a couple of weeks I'll come back and I'll say hi. What? You're breaking up with me, Donnie, please! My taxi's please. here! Taxi! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! Donnie, he he just broke up with me and he he left to live with Donna the dog and I'm pretty sure he's gonna start dating little Kelly again. I can't believe this is happening, guys! What am I gonna do? I've lost my husband. <laughs> he doesn't love me. He doesn't remember me. Oh my gosh, I'm so heartbroken.